Hi guys, it's Tim Checker, the AI operator here. Today, we're going to look at ChatGPT Connectus, an extremely useful feature that allows you to integrate ChatGPT with apps you use every day, bringing the power of AI to your whole workspace. With ChatGPT Connectus, you can quickly retrieve real-time data from tools and streamline your workflow. In this video, you'll learn what connectors are and how to enable them, five practical ways to use connectors for your business, my top tips and limitations to bear in mind. Hit like and subscribe to my channel for tutorials, tips and deep dives into the latest tools to help you reach your full potential with the help of AI. What are ChatGPT connectors? ChatGPT connectors are integrations that allow ChatGPT to access information stored in other apps. Instead of switching between platforms or setting up complex automations, you can simply ask ChatGPT in natural language to search or reference information that lives in connected apps. ChatGPT connects with tools like Dropbox, Gmail, Google Calendar, HubSpot, Microsoft Teams, and more. You can search connected apps for information that can help you complete everyday tasks and get a preview of results inside ChatGPT. Run deep research that draws information from multiple places at once and cites each source. Sync and index knowledge from third-party apps so you can get more accurate answers faster. When you connect an app, ChatGPT can retrieve information from that app and use it in its responses. What connectors are available? What connectors you can use depends which plan you're on. Here's a complete list of connectors and capabilities available on different plans. For Team Enterprise and Edu users, most apps can be accessed via deep research. Some, like Dropbox and Google Drive, can also be accessed through ChatGPT Search. Pro users can use chat search connectors in addition to deep research connectors for the following integrations. Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Microsoft SharePoint. Plus users can only access connectors through deep research mode. An asterisk next to the app indicates that the connector is currently not available in some regions. And if you're on the free plan, you won't have access to connectors. There you go. Yet another reason to upgrade to paid. How to enable connectors? Setting up connectors is a simple process. First, go to Settings, Connectors, select any apps you want to connect, and proceed through the authentication process to activate the connection. You'll need to approve permissions via secure OAuth login. To use connectors in a chat, go to Tools, click Deep Research, click Sources, and select the tool you want to use. You can select more than one. Enter a prompt with a request like, search my Gmail for the latest invoice from Acmeink. Find the most recent presentation in my drive and summarize it. Check out my Outlook calendar and suggest three meeting slots next week. If you're thinking, that sounds cool, Tim, but what can I do with connectors in my day-to-day? -day? I've got you covered. Here are five ways you can use connectors today. Customize these examples and give them a try today. One, client sentiment and risk analysis with Gmail plus deep research. Imagine you're preparing for a quarterly review with a key client. You want to understand how the relationship has evolved over time and identify any potential risk factors for churn. With a Gmail, or Outlook Connector, ChatGPT can access your email threads and entire conversation history to analyze them in depth. You can ask, analyze all the emails with Acme Inc. from the past six months, summarize how their sentiment and priorities have shifted, and flag any churn risks or upsell opportunities. ChatGPT will read through all relevant messages looking for sentiment changes like enthusiasm to frustration, recurring issues or requests, that could be support delays, new feature needs, key moments like budget mentions or new priorities. Then it can produce a clear timeline of your relationship and suggest strategic next steps. The result, you walk into the meeting with a data-backed brief, knowing exactly what matters to your client and how to respond. Two, daily briefings with Google Calendar plus deep research. Imagine getting your own personalized morning briefing to help you prep for the day as soon as you step into your office or even before. You can do this with a Google Calendar connector. With your calendar connected, you can ask ChatGPT, give me a summary of today's meetings and prep notes based on the attendees and topics. It's a great way to get up to speed and get ready for the day quickly without feeling overwhelmed or playing catch up. And if the attendees, emails or companies are in your Gmail or Google Drive, it can also cross-reference those for more context. I do this all the time. Three, fast proposal drafting with Drive plus deep research. 
Don't leave potential clients waiting for proposals. With your Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive connected, ChatGPT can draft proposals in a flash based on client information and similar documents. Simply prompt ChatGPT to draft a proposal for a new SaaS client in FinTech. Use our previous proposals from 2024 as a template, but update the rates for 2025 based on our new pricing structure. Take into account our recent email conversation and the client's requirements along with budget concerns. ChatGPT can search your drive, pull information from relevant documents and create a proposal draft, saving you hours of copying, pasting and reformatting. Four, understand what devs are working on with GitHub Plus Deep Research. Want to stay in the loop with what your developers are working on? Use the GitHub connector for easily digestible updates about what's going on without needing to log in. Hopefully they give you permission on view access on their repositories. You can ask, summarize the most recent pull requests and issues for payments in GitHub. ChatGPT will read commit messages, issue threads and PRs and it'll give you a summary in simple terms. Or you can just ask it to simplify it if it's still complex. Sometimes it's complex for me as well. So I ask it, hey, can you explain it to me? Like I have no clue about coding. Five, review customer support with Microsoft Outlook email plus deep research. Want to get to the bottom of recurring customer complaints? Use an email connector to analyze common issues. Prompt ChatGPT to review the last 50 support emails in Outlook and summarize the top three recurring issues. ChatGPT will scan those emails and create a report on the insights. Not only can this save you hours of manual sorting, but it can also help you create a better strategy to solve the underlying problem. My tips for success. Use connectors in combination. You can use more than one connector in a prompt. So for example, you can ask ChatGPT to reference emails and files in your drive when drafting a proposal. Disable web search to make sure ChatGPT is pulling information entirely from my knowledge base. I also like to disable web search and enable the connectors I want to use. Use connectors for in-depth tasks. Since deep research takes some time for quick tasks like drafting a response to an email, you might be better off just copying and pasting the email into the chat. Instead, connectors are really useful when you want to produce detailed reports or contact analysis of various sources. Use connectors with O3 or O3 Pro. I find the reasoning models are smarter and better at collecting the information from my files. Limitations. Connectors are a really powerful tool allowing you to reach into external tools and dig into multiple internal sources. However, connectors are currently limited to research, pulling information from tools and generating text or content based on that data. ChatGPT can't take any actions in third party apps yet. Actually, kind of can with some MCP servers or with custom GPT actions, but let's not get there. So while you can draft a response to a real email, ChatGPT can't send the email. You still have to do that part manually. But considering how fast things move in the AI space, I wouldn't be shocked if actions like that are on the horizon for ChatGPT in the not so distant future. My final thoughts on connectors. ChatGPT's connectors allow you to search across multiple tools, summarize information, perform in-depth analysis, and streamline your workflow, all with simple prompts. If you've liked this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, enable the notifications, invite others, share with friends, family, colleagues. Tell me in the comments, how would you use these connectors? Let's learn from each other in the comments and see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.